How about agriculture? Yeah, we are the leader, global leader of the agriculture, agriculture sector, agriculture sector. And then in New Jersey, yeah, we have a, a pharmaceutical company. Yeah, it's the global leader. Yeah, in New Jersey, yeah, we have a Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, we have a Bristol Mile. Yeah, we have a Pfizer. We have Merck. Yeah, and many other pharmaceutical yeah company. Yeah, we are the, the global leader. Yeah, in in the pharmaceutical yeah related industry industry. So so we we are all the the steel and automobiles yeah rusted, but we, we still have a uh, many economic sector a global leader uh, all under the yeah, uh, uh, two company yeah yeah a major player in 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 their sector yeah think about that think about that yeah if you use credit card, you are either use Visa or Mastercard. Mastercard. Yeah. If you drink the soft drink, you are either drink Pepsi or Coke. Yeah. Two major players. Yeah. Particularly, uh, uh, U.S. company, they dominate yeah, uh, the soft drink market. It's the uh, duopoly, is the, the long-term uh, competition, and then have a uh, two major player left. Be because uh, uh, if you monopoly, uh, we have um, uh, antitrust. Yeah, you, you know, in old day, the Standard Oil. Yeah, the, the U.S. antitrust, yeah, the New Jersey Standard Oil, and then so they, sp yeah, split the Standard Oil into many uh, companies. Uh, nowadays, Exxon Mo uh, Mobil is the, the offspring of the Standard Oil, and then in 1980s, the the uh, AT and T, yeah, antitrust, yeah. And then this uh, split, yeah, the AT and T into many regional belt. When I was a doctoral student, uh, we have a Pacific belt. And when I was the uh, when I was in the south, uh, 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 there is the Bell South. Yeah. When I moved to New Jersey, and uh, the Verizon, and they are uh, the company. Yeah, spread out from the uh, AT and T. So after long term uh, competition, and then uh, two major players left. Yeah, uh, we call it duopoly. Yeah, we can see that uh, in many yeah, uh, uh, area yeah, of the yeah, uh, global economy. Um, uh, even in politics, for example. Uh, if you vote in the U.S. political systems, you are either vote for Republican or Democrat, right? Yeah, two major players. Of, of course, you can vote for Green Party or, or whatever, but that, that's not a major player. Let, let me give you an example. Uh, uh, if you try to help your father to repair your house, you will purchase or improve your house you purchase the material either from Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah, two major players. If you want to uh, eat hamburger, yeah, you will either go to Burger King or yes, McDonald's. Yeah, and uh, shopping. Yeah, you you will either go to Walmart. Or target, target, right? Yeah, and uh, even in the uh, high end, yeah, auctioneer, you have a Sotheby's, 
all Christies, yeah, two major players left. So, so actually, uh, 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 we, we are, uh, uh, Steer is the uh, leader in many uh, economics uh, sector of the global economies. Yeah. So even though yeah, the uh, steel and automobile region are rusted, rusted. Okay. So we delineate the rusty belt. Yeah, based on the social, human, economic sector. Social, human, economic sector. And right now, yeah, allow me to yeah, ask you, yeah, if I want you to delineate, yeah, to identify yeah, the spatial pattern of the expensive region yeah, in the United States and cheap region of United States, what? you think yeah where in US yeah yeah what is the spatial pattern yeah of the expensive region and where is the cheap region of United States think about that yeah and let me know yeah you answer Yes, West Coast, yeah. West Coast, yeah, is the expansion region of United States. From San Diego, go north, yeah. Los Angeles, go north, Santa Barbara, all the way to San Francisco, San Francisco. Yeah, this is the expansion region, yeah. West Coast is the expansion region. Yes, East Coast, particularly Northeast. Yeah, we are in the uh, expensive region. Uh, think about that from Boston, yeah, Boston, and then Connecticut, yeah, New York, New Jersey. Yeah, this this region, yeah, yeah, expensive region. Yeah. Anyone uh, from the uh, Bergen County here? Anyone? Yeah, some of you, yeah, from the Bergen County, yeah, almost, yeah, almost, yeah, yeah, every house in Bergen County, yeah, cost at least a half million dollar, yeah, yeah, it's the, we are in the expensive region, yeah, uh, right now we have a COVID-19 pandemic, yeah, I believe, I believe, more and more people will move out from the New York City yeah, to New Jersey, suburban environment. Allow me to share uh, my personal observation. Uh, when I finished my doctoral study, I went to University of Memphis for four years. Uh, in year 2002, um, I, I moved to East Coast. And uh, I remember at the summer, uh, at that uh, uh, spring, uh, I think early summer, I saw my house in uh, Germantown, uh, Tennessee, and purchased the house in central New Jersey. I remember I paid the house, the, lump, the price I paid the house in central New Jersey exactly double the price I sold my house in Germantown, Tennessee. And then the size of house in here is what? Shrink in half. So at the time my calculation is two times two equal to four, four times differences. And in Memphis, Tennessee, highway is free Parking is free, and every day I bring a simple sandwich to school. Yeah, in a lot of weeks, I don't even have a chance yeah, to spend even one dollar. 
But after moved to New Jersey, I commute between Central Jersey and uh, William Patterson University. Yeah, I, I, yeah, in a, I drive uh, Garden State Parkway. I pay the toll. Yeah, pay the toll. Yeah, uh, um, and then if you go to New York, yeah, you cross over bridge. Yeah, we are talking about yeah, fifteen dollars right now. Yeah, so we are in the expensive region yeah so basically the east coast and west coast is expensive region 